Hi everyone, this is Sensei Cecil Peoples. So today, I want to talk to you about doing a hook. All right, it's an ongoing controversy about which way to do the hook. Is it this way with the thumbs down, this way or with the thumb up? So I'm going to tell you my way. Now let me tell you, throwing a hook was the hardest thing in boxing and kickboxing for me to learn, was throwing a hook. It, it must have took me a year. And it drives me nuts when people come into school or in the gym and throw a hook right off the bat. <laughs> they never did it before and they can do it right away. Driving me nuts. But anyway, for a long time, I thought I could box. And I thought I could do a hook until I met John Hackleman. And when I met John Hackleman, everybody know John. He trained Chuck Liddell how to fight, uh, how to do uh, MMA and kickboxing. So uh, John came to my school and he started teaching me how to box and teaching me how to do a left hook. So that's what I did. And I know some people say you do it this way, but I want to tell you, anytime you see a boxer of any quality, any, any professional boxer, you will never see a boxer punch like this. Now, if you want to see how it's really done, go on Telemundo and watch boxing. Old style Mexican trainers, they are the best. Mexican fighters, even, even if they end up in the top, 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 top of the big money making, their technique, their training session is just impeccable. And all those old trainers, Mexican trainers, man, their, their technique is incredible. And that's one of the reasons I got it from them uh, on Telemundo is how to throw a hook. Now, you'll never see somebody in the UFC throw a hook like this. You'll never see someone in boxing throw a hook like this. Also, you'll never see a boxer do this, do this thing here, right? Uh, I think most people got that from karate. You know, why you punch it and you turn it like this and you're doing this, but you'll never see the body. So you'll never see them do that. So what you're doing is you're going to turn your upper body. You're going to turn your upper body. Now, I have my people start out a little bit wide, and then as time go on, you tighten it up, you tighten it up until you right inside and you can hit them to the body. Now, I can't do that because it'll hurt my wrist, and I don't think it's a good thing to do, but that's just my opinion. So anyway, the hook. So you want to wide. Now what I have people do is I put a pole out here sometime and then have them go around the pole. And the hook came from the word a hook, like a fishing hook. That's what it looked like when you do it properly. So the hook, you're going to throw it out here. Turn your upper body. Turn your upper body. So I'm going to go here. All right. And I always try to tell people have their belly button going the opposite way or the same way the hook is going. So I want to go here. Or you can go by the head. Okay, now another thing you can do is you torque your body here. Let's say the guy threw a hook at my head. Okay, a right hook at my head. And I, I'm gonna go here and then I come from here. Everybody understand? You understand that? Twerk, <coughs> hook. That's the way I do it. Do it like that. <coughs>